Finding yourself stuck out on the latch And there ain't no healing From cutting yourself with a jagged edge I'm telling you that it's never that bad And take it from someone who's been where you're at You're laid out on the floor and you're not sure You can take this anymore So just give it one more try with a lullaby And turn this up on the radio If you can hear me now I'm reaching now to let you know that you're not alone And you can tell I'm scared as hell Cause I can't get you on the telephone In this lesson, we take a look at Nickelback's Lullaby, back from 2012. And it is absolutely based on how they would perform it acoustically. You can find several uh, of those on YouTube, and then you can also see that they would perform it a little bit different from time to time, as in using two different keys. That's actually what I should say. And also, the capo might be, well, here on the second fret or on the first. It depends on which one uh, you're were watching. However, the first one would be when you're capable here on the 2nd fret and when you would play the chords in the key of A, starting with B minor though, then it would be the absolute key of the original recording. When playing in this key, one performance that I could find they would be on the 1st fret, so taking it down a half step from there. However, still using those same shapes, which would be a D minor, you probably have already seen it earlier in the preview, to a D or a D sus2, to an A, or an A sus2, and an E, dressed up maybe with a sus4, there. And in the bridge you would have like one more chord, an F sharp minor. Those would be all the chords in the song. However, in other occasions, as I already mentioned, they would be still capable here on the second fret. They have never seen them like lower than that, and then taking all the chords down a whole step. So then you end up with actually very easy chords. So going from a minor to a C major to G major and to D. And then in the bridge, only E minor would appear in there as well. And then you're already there. So five chords. Key of, well, this one, the chords in the key of G, is quite a bit easier than chords in the key of A. Decide for yourself what you want to do there. The strumming, I would say, is relatively simple as well. It's double time. One and two and three and four and just keep this hand moving. I'll uh, show you a little bit uh, about it though, but keep it simple I would say. It is very nice to incorporate the, the melody notes of the piano in the, at least in the intro of the, uh, the song. I already showed you in, in B minor, I guess. In A minor it would be, except for the last chord, this is, this is doable, don't get me wrong. A minor, nine, a G, and now, sorry, there, and a D. You have no choice than doing it like so, because you need three notes, with the highest note being here on the third string, there. Otherwise, I would only have one bass note and one high note, and I need one more in between, so this might be a bit of a stretch. Let me count it out. 1 E and 2 and 3 E and 4 and 1 E and 2 and 3 E and 4 and 1 E and 2 and 3 E and 1 E and 2 and 3 E and 4 and so on. Yes, so that would be actually the timing, no matter in which key you're playing, by the way. Okay, we'll break all of this down, I'll show you uh, the chords, of course, we'll go through the progression, which is really, really straightforward, you should have it in no time. Add the intro, and then you got yourself a great song. Find some other singers, because they do this with awesome uh, harmonies, in my uh, opinion, they sound really, really good. Okay, this lesson is now in the target program at Totally Guitars. Check it out over there.